हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू माई वीडियो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एंगल्स एंड आल्सो लर्न हाउ टू गिव देयर नेम्स वी आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द इंटीरियर एंड एक्सटीरियर ऑफ एन एंगल and we know that when we say that the point is lie in the interior and when the points lie on the exterior and when the point lies on the angle and also we have solved some questions on the angles today we will try to solve some more question which based on angles from the exercise 4.3 of the chapter basic concept of geometry so let's start the first question is name the angle in the given figure the figure is looking clearly there is a quadrilateral a b c d here we can see that there is four angle angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 now we have to give the name for your convenience i write the numbers on the angles so first angle that is angle 1 we have to give the name of angle 1 from the figure angle 1 i write angle 1 and this angle 1 is equal to means by which two rays the angle one is formed in the figure we can see that angle uh, sorry arm ad and ab form the angle one that is angle bad where a is the vertex and ad and ab are the arms so when we write the name of angle with the three letters notation then we write a between d and a so we give the name of angle 1 is equal to angle dab which is the first name of the angle 1 now let us see angle second that is angle 2 and we have to give the name of angle 2 in the figure we can see that angle b that is angle 2 is formed by two rays first ray is ba and second one is bc so ba and bc are the two arms and b is the vertex so we write b between a and c and then we get the name of angle 2 is equal to angle abc i hope is clear now let's see about the angle 3 in the figure we can see that angle three is formed by two arms that is cd and cb so c is a vertex and cd and cb are the arms so we write here angle 3 is equal to bcd and similarly we write about angle 4 is equal to angle cda because in the figure 
d is the vertex so we write d between a and c then we get angle 4 is equal to angle c d a i hope the question number 1 is clear to all now let's see the next one in the given figure give the name of the point here in the figure we have to give the name of the point means which point is lies in the interior and which point lies in the exterior and which point lies on the angle so let us start in the figure we can see that there is two angle the first angle is angle e o angle e o d and the second angle is f o e means there is two angle and the point r lies with within angle and out of angle so let us see we can see that the point c is the is lie outside the angle so only the point c is the exterior point that means point c lie in the exterior of the angle and the point a is lies inside the angle so it is known as interior point or point a lie in the interior of angle and the point f point o point d point b and e is lie or lie on the angle so the answers are given below the point in the interior of angle doe is a see the figure again the angle is d o e is the angle in which point a is lie interior of the angle and the points in the exterior of angle e o f is c a d here we have to find the point which lies exterior of the angle e o f first see the angle e o f the angle e o f is e o f this is the angle e o f and the point d a and c is outside of the angle e o f that is why d a c are the exterior point of the angle e o f so we write the point in the exterior of the angle e o f are c a and d and in the figure you can see that the point e b o and f is lies on the arms of the angle e o f now let's see the next question draw a rough diagram of two angle such that they have first one point in common b two point in common c three point in common and d four point in common let's see in the figure one here there is two angle the one angle is d o c and second angle is a o b in both angle we can see that there is only one vertex that is the point o so we can say that 
O is the common point for the angle D O C and for the angle A O B. So it has only one common point between the angle C O D and A O B. And the answer of the question B two point in common. For this, the figure is given. The first angle is C O B, and the second angle is A O B. And for the both angle, that is C O B and A O B, the ray O B is common, and also the point that lies on the ray. O B R O and B. That is why O and B are the two common point between the angle C O B and the angle A O B. I hope it is clear. Let's see the next answer of the question number C. In this figure, we have to find three common point between the two angles. First, let us find two angle. The first angle is A O B, and second angle is C O B. And in the figure, we can see that the ray O B, the ray O B is the common ray for the both angle. So that the point lie on the ray OB are the common point for the both angle COB and AOB. That is why on the ray OB we can see that there are three point. First point is O, second point is E, and third point is B. Therefore, O, E, and B. Are three common points between the angle AOB and the angle BOC. And in the last answer, we can see the figure. Here, we have to find four point common between two angle. First, we can see the two angles AOC and AOB. Are the two angles and the ray OA is common to both, and the points lie on this ray OA are also common for the both angle. So, on the ray OA, we can see four point O E D A, so that these four points are the common point. For the angle A O C and the angle A O B, so the result is given here, and the solution of question number three has been completed. I hope you would like this video. Thank you for watching this video.